Hello there. Somebody's in the library. That's all right. Hi. Welcome. Hello. I'm going to move myself over here. Yo creo que sí. Hi. Hey. Destiny. Destiny. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. Hi. Everybody, unmute yourself, okay? So we can, so I can communicate. Mr. Hello. Hey. Hi, Miguel. Hello. Oh. Last week, I missed you. I missed you were going. Oh. Destiny. Hi, honey. Hi. Good, you. Who is this person up here at the library being so studious? Who is this? Are you? Hi. I'm, a, I'm, I'm a counselor. Yeah. You're a counselor. What's your yeah. name? Madalena. Madalena. That sounds like a song. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Too. And here's Mr. Dantris. I don't know who Mr. Dantris is. Will you unmask yourself, Mr. Dantris? Who are you? Mr. Dantres, there you are. Unmute yourself, please. I thought I was talking, sorry. There you are. Nice to meet you. I got scared. I thought it was somebody coming to check and make sure that I was doing the right thing. I said, uh-oh, who's that? Are you okay? Oh, no, sorry. That's yes. okay. You were very early. Yeah, I was, but I saw- That's good. Early. That's good. That's a good thing. All right. Well, um, so today we're going to make pizza bagels. Everybody got the recipe, I hope? Very simple. And let me introduce myself for the recording. My name is Sabrina Wilson. I'm La Jolie Chef, and I'm here teaching the LEAP students. And uh, we have a lot of fun every week. So today we're going to make some pizza bagels. And I got a memo. <clears throat> I got a memo through the grapevine from some parents that they wanted us to do some more healthy things. So I'm going to try to incorporate that. So you didn't get this as part of your recipe packet. So not to worry today, but I'm going to show you, give you some ideas for things that you can put on your pizza bagel to make it a little healthier. Hello, Darius. I'm so glad to see familiar faces. Hello. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing so, all right. Um, good. So some of the things that I added today are roasted vegetables, which I know you don't have the recipe for, but what I'm going to do when we're done is I'm going to type up what we're going to, what I'm going to show you how to put on the bagel, and maybe I can send it to Darius, and then he can get the recipe to you. So in the future, when you make them at home, you can add this, because it's very simple. I just didn't... Um, I didn't get the memo until a little later about uh, making things healthy. So um, I know we've been doing a lot of desserts. And uh, OK. All right. I think everybody's here. All right, so this is, this is very straightforward. So I have, just for fun, I brought some other extra things. I have some herbs today, just for fun, that we can mix into the tomato sauce. This is, um, anybody recognize any of these herbs? So most of the time, maybe in your kitchens, a lot of people just have dried herbs. But when you go to a professional kitchen, most of the time you use fresh just because they have more flavor. So um, here we have, this is dill, which you, a lot of times you use with fish. Uh, that's probably the most likely thing that you would find dill in. This is thyme, which is used in all kinds of sauces and things. And um, if and when we do a class in person, I'll bring the herbs and then you can smell them all. And this is mint, which you've seen, I'm sure. A lot of these things you'll find like in the grocery store in little tiny plastic packages that are extremely expensive, um, which is why I grow a lot of things because uh, it's very expensive. But that's just kind of a, a little aside. And then I have basil. So, so we're just going to start out with um, 
you know, a lot of the things we're doing are very straightforward. We can get it at the grocery store. So it's not like, I think a lot of people think cooking, whatever it is, it has to be fancy and expensive. And that's not really the case. There are a lot of things you can get right at the grocery store. Bagels, cheese, to, you know, I got bottled tomato sauce. So, um, you know, there you go. That a girl, you got big ones. All right, that's that works. That a boy, I'm sorry, Miguel, I didn't see. I, I don't have my glasses on today. Yeah, so you could use, I just got mini bagels, but you could use good, yes. Good, Destiny. <laughs> good, Miguel, that's good. Good, everybody's got them, all right. Yay, that's half the battle. So um, sometime when we hopefully can meet in person, I we can learn how to make a pizza dough, which is really easy. Um, so if you go out with your parents and have pizza, um, that's, and if you've ever like looked in the back of a pizza shop, you'll see somebody with a ball of pizza dough and he, have you ever seen this or on TV where he throws the ball in the air and goes like this? Yes. Miguel's shaking his head. Yeah, I do. I, I can do that. Not really a little, it's really an, uh, it's really a skill, but pizza dough is basically just, um, flour, water yeast, salt, and a little teeny bit of sugar, because sugar is what makes the yeast rise. But that's for another class, but just for fun. Uh, we definitely could do that sometime. And pizza dough, you can make pizza with it. You can also make focaccia. If you ever went to an Italian restaurant, you might see a um, bread. It's about this thick, and it looks looks just like regular bread, but it's made out of pizza dough. And a lot of times they put herbs in it, they put uh, olive oil and stuff on it. So, now I could talk all day about food. So, Miss Barbara says I talk a lot, but uh, you know, I, I want to make sure that you um, that you learn things too. I mean, because everything either you do one item, and there is a lot of different things that might have to do with that item. So, all right. So this is really very straightforward. So we're going to take the pizza bagel, and if you have a big one. You cut it in half. Mine happened to be already cut. So, and we don't we don't have to toast these. So I'm gonna get a spoon. I forgot a spoon. <clears throat> so the most important thing, even even with pizza bagels, the inclination, the the your instinct is a lot of times, at least mine is. When I want to put sauce on anything, I want to put like more sauce. <laughs> and that's the one thing that with, with pizza, you can't do because it'll, um, <clears throat> with pizza, it's kind of like less is more. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you don't want to put too much. So I'm just going to open up my pan. This is just regular old pizza sauce. And this is a trick. If you can't get the jar open, you hit the bottom of it and do this. And if that doesn't work, you can take the back of a knife and tap it and then it goes click and then it opens up. Little tricks of the trade. All right, so I'm gonna open up a couple of bagels. And then we're gonna put a little bit of sauce on it. And what I made, so we're gonna do the bagels, um, tomato sauce, and then um, cheese. And traditional pizza, you put um, you put mozzarella cheese on, shredded mozzarella. And that's the stuff that when you take a bite out of the pizza and it's all gooey, that's the mozzarella. Yes. Uh, should we put this on a baking sheet? Like, is it gonna go in the oven? Oh yes, good idea. Very good. Yes, a baking sheet. Any, any kind of baking sheet will do. I have a little one today, but um, cookie sheet is good. You don't need anything on it. You don't need to grease it. You don't need parachute paper. You don't need anything. Um, so we're just going to put those there. And then you just want to put probably if you have, I, these are little, but probably um, for my purposes, I'm just going to put like, Probably like just enough to coat the top of it, because if you put if you put too much on it it um it gets soggy. 
and you don't want it to get soggy. So I did for this little one, I just did one tea, one table. That's about a tablespoon. And if you were doing real pizza dough, it would be the same idea. So a lot of times with real pizza dough, you'll see the whole big pie and they take a ladle and they dip it in the sauce and then they go like this and then they go around and they make a nice smooth, thin, pretty thin layer. So that's really all you're going to do is just a, about a tablespoon on here and spread it out. It's very simple. And it doesn't matter what, I mean, if you wanted to, you could make your own sauce. I didn't, you know, for the purposes of this class, we only have an hour, so I can't get too complicated. But tomato sauce is pretty simple. Onion, you put olive oil in a pan, onion, chopped up onion, garlic. Um, and then if you were going to do it from scratch, you'd probably take plum tomatoes, chop those up, and then saute that for a little while till it gets soft, salt, pepper, and then you'd um, puree it somehow. So, you know, maybe, maybe when all this pandemic is over, we can all meet in person and we could teach a class in person. That would be a lot of fun. Because there are a lot of things I can do in person that are more difficult to do, uh, <laughs> that are harder to do on TV. I mean, we're not exactly on TV, but this feels like TV to me. <laughs> so what do you think? We're good? Everybody good? That's pretty simple. It's probably the simplest class we've done so far. So a tablespoon, spread it on, and then... What I brought was, so I have two different kinds of cheeses. I have cheddar cheese, which I happen to like, which is not traditional. If you want to go traditional, um, you put mozzarella on it. And some chefs even put a little sprinkling of Parmesan cheese on it and then the mozzarella, but it's not, it's not mandatory. So for my purposes, I'm just going to show you the vegetables that I roasted. There's no one waiting. Oh, there's somebody waiting. Dylan, this is a new person. Hello. Yeah, that, that should be Dylan, uh, another counselor. Hi, Dylan. Welcome. He's he's connecting. All right. How's, okay. how's the pizza rolls looking, Sage? Or pizza bagel, I'm sorry. I'm just Say cutting him up. I was asking Mr. Sage how the, how the pizza bagel's looking for him. They're looking yeah, good. You cut cut it through the middle. They got Mr. Don Trez out here cooking too. Oh, who's on oh. here? Who's cooking? Mr. Don Trez is cooking. Mr. Don Trez is cooking. Wait, is Don Mr. Don Trez is a is a counselor too or a teacher? He is a counselor. Yes. Very serious counselor that he calls himself Mr. Don Trez. I like that. <laughs> he's got he's got to get that respect. That's good. <laughs> Are you doing, are you, is your name Sage? Is that your name? Sage just left the building. All right. That's what they call you, Sage, or is that your family's computer? Oh, no, that's my name, but just that's, Mr. Sage is what they That's a great me. name. That's like a stage name. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. I'm going to send you. I'm going to send you these recipes after, but I'm just going to show you. So I roasted broccoli, and I bet a lot of you are like, broccoli, oh, yuck. And your parents probably go, you have to eat your broccoli, and you're like, ew, give it to the dog. But when you roast the broccoli, it's not bad. And you can put a little garlic and olive oil mixed up with it. It's actually not, it's pretty tasty. So that's one idea for roasted vegetable to go on the pizza. And then this. If you can see it, I did uh, eggplant, um, plum tomatoes, onions, and spinach. And I just threw it in a bowl, olive oil, salt, and pepper, mixed it up. And then we're going to, and I roasted it for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to put that on the pizza. So if you are going to do roasted vegetables, we're going to put that on. I'm going to put mine, my vegetables on now, and then the cheese on top of the vegetables. But since you guys... Um, 
you guys don't have the vegetables. We're just going to go with the um, cheese. And this is what it looks like raw. So I just thought I would show you. That's all I did. Like a lot of people, I think, don't eat vegetables because they're like, oh, my God, I don't know what to do with it. It's too complicated. But it's actually just pretty easy, easy to incorporate it into your diet without it being too complicated. Here's some other things, some other kind of weird things to go on your pizza. Like some people even put ham and pineapple on pizza. Have you ever had that? Anybody? I get people that. are criminals. People yeah, who put pineapples or ham or whatever on their pizza, they're, they're criminals. Hawaiian pizza? I like Hawaiian pizza. You do? Okay. No! They're loaded No. I don't care. That's right. No. Really mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. These are Kalamata olives. You find those at the grocery store. Goat cheese, grocery store. Sweet potato. So that's what's fun about it. You can kind of... Uh, people keep arriving and then leaving. I don't know. I need a secretary. All right. So I'm just going to... So probably take like, on your pieces depending upon the size, like a tablespoon of cheese. And you want to try to get it on top of the pizza and not too much on the side, just because it'll burn. And then your smoke alarm will go off. And nobody will like that. But uh, that's about it. The other thing that we could do with, um, with pizza, we could, maybe we could make pizza dough in this with this venue. I bet we could. Have you guys ever made pizza dough? Anybody? No. No. I never made you said I uh, no. Well I my school did yeah. but the other class did it, not me. Who said that? Miguel. Okay. Miguel, you did for another class you made pizza dough? Yeah, but it was the other class. I didn't do it. Oh. Well, we could try that um, because you could also make, you ever go to a restaurant? Well, actually Domino's does it. You could make pizza knots where they make garlic pizza knots and you can do that with pizza dough too. So all these things that they charge a lot of money for, you can make yourself. And I'm always saying that to my son. He's like, mom, you say that about everything. And I said, I know, but it's really true. You can save a lot of money and eat healthier by doing a lot of things yourself when you don't have a lot of the preservatives and things in it. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of these vegetables on here. I put mine with the cheese on it. I mean, this is this is very straightforward. And I'm just going to put a little vegetables on here. And I already did. Huh? I already put the cheese in here. Put That's the... fine. That's fine. You put the cheese. Yes. I'm fine. Miguel, that's good. Did you? Show me again. Oh, you have, what's that, pepperoni? Yeah. You guys are miles ahead of me, oh my God. Here I am talking away. There you go over there. <laughs> That's awesome. Good idea. I mean, uh, that's, that's not exactly healthy, but it's definitely tasty. Miguel, can you show that again so I can take a picture? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see that. So, let me ask you guys this. Now, I put too much, I put cheese. There we go. Are there any, are there, anything to do? you guys could tell me some things. Uh, that, thank you. You guys could tell me some things okay. that you'd like to make. Like, are there some things that you have to make? Oh, it's hard to make that? Huh? What's about to make? I can't believe making pizza bagels. I don't know. All right, hold on. Let's pipe it down, Bucko. Just get empty. Let me have to get this Oh. Well, you're welcome. I'd be glad to eat them. Are we good? So, did you hear? Did you? Destiny. Hmm? Destiny's going to down with that ladle. You're welcome. Destiny. Destiny's my sous chef already. You're hired. There you go. She likes the chicken. And Sage, we all I can see is your handsome face. I don't see what's going on. Oh, good. Good. All right. Anybody else? Mr. Dantras looks like he's playing basketball. 
that background is is a, like a movie, like a green screen. Miguel, how's yours? Good? Mm, I, I haven't cooked it yet. Mr. Dantres, he doesn't, he doesn't want to show the struggle kitchen. Okay. Mr. Dantres, he what? Good. He doesn't want to showcase the struggle <laughs> <laughs> he does. He looks like he's in a movie or in a video game. Okay. So what I should have said. Oh, somebody's singing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought you got to sing. I have no idea. Who? Who's that? I hear somebody. All right. So uh, who? who, who ingredients on their bagels. I'm going to do one plain one. We're going to put it in the oven for about 10. These are, since these are, if it was regular pizza dough, it would take longer. But obviously this isn't going to take as long because it's already cooked. So um, like three, 375 for 10 minutes. And I and and what we should have discussed in the very beginning is that as soon as you start to cook anything, obviously that has to go in the oven. You want to preheat the oven. So if you don't preheat the oven, and you know, obviously if you put things into a an oven into a cold oven, it's going to take longer to cook and it won't cook correctly. So you always want to make sure whatever it is you're cooking, you put into an oven that's completely completely preheated, especially if you're baking. It has to be at the right temperature because that helps like with puff pastry, shoe pastry that we made, it helps it rise. So if it's not the right temperature, you're gonna have a big mess. All right? So um, did all of you by any chance- You guys see my pizza bagel? Pardon me? You wanna see my pizza bagels? <laughs> of course. How do I flip the dog? I think you're gonna show me a basketball too, but that's all right. Oh, hold on, I'm oh yeah, there you go. Everybody's got pe pepperoni. You're miles ahead of me. They look beautiful. I'm yeah. like, very good. You're all hired. Okay. I, have a next, I have a wedding next weekend for 100 people. You have to be there at four o'clock. <laughs> oh, okay. Shh. Quiet. That's my sous chef. All right. What temperature do we have to put it? 375 for 10 minutes. So you gotta, you gotta well, wait. What temperature? Three seventy. You said three seventy-five. Yeah. So my oven happens to be on already, but if you want to wait five minutes, we can talk about something else. All right. Let me set my timer. Do anybody know where pizza comes from? What the history of it is? It, Italy, which I'm sure you all knew that. The first, the first documented um, site of pizza was in 997 in Gaeta, which I'm not even sure where that is, um, Southern Italy. All right, let me set the timer. All right, does anybody have any questions? Well, uh, what I asked you before was, um, are, are there things that you've thought of that you would like to make that we could do? Because I'm certainly open to suggestions. Don't everybody talk at once. No? There's nothing you ate somewhere and you said, oh my goodness, I wish I knew how to make that. Um, I went to this mall one time. Um, and I, I think it was um fried Oreos. Destiny, is that you? You yeah. went somewhere and you had fried Oreos? Mm-hmm. Oh. I'll look that up. I've never made that. Uh, it's good. How about guacamole? Guacamole? Yes, we certainly could do that. And that's pretty healthy. Your parents would like that because the parents are complaining we're eating too much sugar. So you probably leave the class and bounce all over the walls. And they're like, who is that teacher teaching all my kid to make only sugar? That's, that's a good idea, guacamole. I like that. 
the other thing that the other way that you can do this too, which I forgot to mention, that's that's even better if, beside pizza bagels is you could get a like go to the um, grocery store and get a a, a piece of um, a loaf of French bread. Nice, Sage. Look at that. I think you guys have all cooked before. My dad said um, guacamole toast. I guess guacamole toast. Yeah, that's a thing. And that's helpful. Guacamole is like a really good fat. How about you, Miguel? You got any ideas for something you've always wanted to learn how to make and was like, oh, I'm afraid, but I'd like to learn? Lobster? <laughs> Barbara, Miss Barbara will kill us. A cake of chocolate. A chocolate cake? All right. Yeah. All right. No, it's hard, guys, but let's try to see if we can aim for uh, some healthy, healthy alternatives as well. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever had vegan lasagna, but that would also be I, I feel like that be vegan lasagna. Vegan lasagna. OK, so no meat. Yeah, you could either do vegan, like this meatless lasagna or like uh, is a um, what else? There's another one. I'm trying to think of Veg vegetable lasagna. You can do. Yep. Um, that I made more. Destiny looks beautiful. I made more. Huh? I made more so I could show my teachers tomorrow. Oh, good. I like that. Um, I lost my pen. I'm trying to write this down. Um. Yeah, a vegetarian lasagna is good. A lot of times um, vegetable lasagna is made with a white sauce rather than a red sauce, which would be fun for you to learn how to make um, a white sauce, which is off, most of the time kind of fattening, but you can make it so it's not as fattening. You can use skim milk and less cheese that's not as fattening. Um, chicken pot pie, it's not necessarily uh, that, um, you know, healthy but but it can be um yeah there there are a lot of different things to make um quiche you know quiche you could do because it's eggs and uh, i mean if i make mine for parties i do it with heavy cream but you you know we don't have to do that you can do skim milk and and cheese it's not as fattening and a lot of times when i make mine i don't um i don't put a crust on it i just do it and i actually do it in a and a lot of times do it in a pan just like this. So it's thin and um, I put a lot of herbs in it and cheese and different kinds of, um, different kinds of cheese, eggs and, um, and skim milk or let, you know, or regular milk, not heavy cream. So um, yeah, I mean, there are other things that, um, Crudite, I mean, that's kind of stupid. That's like a vegetable ba basket. Like I do those for parties, baskets with vegetables in it. Um, but uh, I think a good idea. Vegetable lasagna, that's a good idea. Can we do hummus? Hummus, good. That Yes, let me find a pen here. That's a great idea. Who knows what hummus? Who knows what? What are the? What is it that? What is hummus? It's like made from chickpeas. Do you know what it's made out of? Chickpeas. Yes. Somebody said chickpeas. I couldn't hear you. Chickpeas, right? Chickpeas. Um, oh, and there's also this another Mediterranean kind of a dip that would go with hummus is. Um, Baba ganoush, which is made with uh, eggplant. So it's similar to what I did with the eggplant. I roasted it, you roast it by itself, and then you mush it up with herbs and spices, a little garlic, a little onion, and that's healthy, okay? Um. Hummus, baba ganoush, vegetable lasagna. So did you all put your pizza bagels in the oven yet? I'm about to. I just finished mine. Okay. Yes, I, put mine I put mine in the oven. Okay. I Are did it. Good. Looks good. Make sure you set a timer. 
I did these three are mushroom with mushrooms on them. These, these have pepperoni and then these one have. Oh, you just made me think of something else. How many of you? This look amazing. Did you take a picture, Sage? Yeah, I'll do that. Take a picture. You guys are like above and beyond here. I'm not sure I should be teaching. I think you should be teaching. The other thing, I just thought of something and it went right out of my head. Oh, I know. So how many of you have ever had a portobello mushroom? No, shaking your head. So, you know, there are, million, there are a lot of different kinds of mushrooms, obviously. White button mushrooms, um, uh, wild mushrooms. I think my timer's going on. Um, but portobello mushrooms are, are large. They're like this big. A lot of times people grill them. They slice them on a bias like this. And they put them, little olive oil and garlic, and put them on the grill so as an extra vegetable. But the other, that's one idea. But the other way to do it, which would be veg vegetarian, would be I usually, when I make mine, um, I stuff mine with... Um, I use a little feta cheese, which is kind of a Greek cheese. It's very salty, which is good. Um, so I use spinach, uh, feta cheese, and then sometimes I put lentils in it or or brown rice. And um, we could even um, I could even put it through a calorie like a, a uh, like a system that shows you what the nutrition is it in is in it, like how much protein because. Um, lentils are healthy, like especially red lentils have more, um, even have more uh, protein in them. You know, many Indian Indian people are uh, all vegetarian, so they're very, um, they eat a lot of lentils. Why are you smiling, Miguel? Do you eat a lot of lentils? No? They're already cooked, mine's. You've eaten already cooked lentils? Yeah, mine's are already like done. Okay, so that's another thing, stuffed, um, stuffed uh, portobello mushrooms. Um, and just, um, you know, a lesson on, on grilled vegetables. I mean, we'd have to do something with it. Like you can have grilled vegetables on polenta, polenta's cornmeal. You mix that with, um, you cook it with uh, chicken stock. And then you can have grilled vegetables on the polenta. That's a nice vegetarian meal. And grilled vegetables are really very simple. You get a zucchini, an eggplant, an onion, a tomato. And the way I describe this, it's salt, pepper, olive oil, a lot of fresh basil, a few minutes in the oven spread out and you have dinner and it's healthy. I don't know what happened to my phone. Oh, here it is. Oh, it did go up. Okay, mine went off already. Uh, mine's already cooked. Look. Mine's finished too. Ooh, all this good food. All this food I can't eat. They look great. I'm about to check mine. Okay. This is about to be ugly. How long do they go in the oven? Wow. 10, 10 minutes. 375, 10 minutes. Okay. 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 Nice. Nice. Okay. I'm just gonna put these lines in. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. These are mine. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys mine. Hold on. They look so good, Destiny. It actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay. Well, you don't have to put anything on the tray, but it probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Looking good. Nice. Can I show you mine? Yeah, no, yes. Please show me. <laughs> Ooh, look. Gorgeous. I love it. They look amazing. I'm making one. Welcome. You can put parchment. It would actually be probably a really good idea to put parchment paper down. You could put tin foil, but tin foil is a pain because it sticks to everything. But if you did parchment paper and then you put the pizza bagels on top of the parchment paper, 
it just saves you time because if you look at mine, there's there's a lot of cheese and it's, you know, then they stick, you know, it just, everything in the kitchen is about saving time. Making sure that people eat, that you eat well and are happy, but also saving time. I know I, I use this, um, I have to get some more platters because I'm always talking about plating things so it looks pretty. This seems to be the platter for the month. I have to get some more platters. I have them in my shed. But, um, you know, you could, if you wanted to serve this at a party, you could put basil leaves underneath it or something or, um, or just plain spinach leaves if you wanted, like to make, make the pizza look pretty on, on the underneath. I have some basil. I can't find the basil, but basil, basil is something that you find at the grocery store too. A lot of these herbs you can find. That looks beautiful. So are you all taking pictures? Nice, Miguel. Miguel used big, big bagels. All right. Let's see. So what I have so far. This pizza sweet. Huh? I made this pizza like sweet. I like that. This pizza so, is sweet. The pizza is what? Sweet. 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 The, oh, you made the pizza sweet? Yeah. Well, it's not sweet, but it looks good. Oh. <laughs> Well, people actually, that's interesting you say that because people do make dessert pizzas. You could do that too. Like you could put, um, you know, different fruit on it, but you probably, if you were going to make a dessert ba dessert pizza, you, you'd cook either the bagel or the pizza ahead of time so that it was cooked by itself. And then you probably add like, you could put chocolate on it and then, um, I don't know, nuts, M&Ms, um, you know, marshmallows, different strawberries, maybe, you know, if you were so inclined. So here are some vegetarian ideas to make the parents happy. Hummus, baba ganoush, vegetable lasagna, veg vegan lasagna, that's Darius's, portobello mushroom stuff. I don't know if you, nobody got excited about that. Grown vegetables. A a any other ideas? I, well, I'm going to start with these and I'll, and I'll do the recipes and then, so Darius, can you put your, is it okay? If you put your email in the chat, then I can, um, or should I just send these to Miss Barbara? Um, I would probably say send them to Miss Barbara because she probably would be a, She's the one that, I'll send them to Miss Barbara. All right, and then Miss Barbara will send it on to you guys. So has everybody's pizza come out? Not yet. Yeah. So um so are you guys all in what grade? Like sixth grade? Fifth grade, fourth grade? No. You're all old. Destiny huh? and me are sixth grade. Say it again. Destiny and me are in sixth grade. You're in sixth grade. Okay. I knew that. You know, when you're, you're, when, <laughs> when you're your age, you want to be older. That's what always, when you're, when you're young, you want to be old. And when you're old, you want to be young. That's just how it goes. I was telling these dudes earlier that there are um, some counselors that are like 16, 17, maybe even 18. I wish to be that age right now, man. I'm, I'm 20 and we Who said that? Darius, are you saying that? Yeah. That's you? Yeah, yeah. 
I know. Yeah. But you know what the, the, the trick is to be grateful wherever you're at. That that's like the that's like the key. Not always easy. Sage, you're like eighth grade, right? No, I'm in tenth grade. I'm sixth. Tenth, grade. I knew that. I mean, I'm in eleventh grade. My bad. I'm a junior. You're a junior. <laughs> so, are you all in school, or are you all doing everything remote? We're going uh, right now. We're half and half. How is that? Same. Huh? I'm going to school. I'm going to school in person for Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. And then the rest of the days I'm remote. Yeah. It's, it's Miguel, it's, I like it. You like it? Who what says that? Mine is sweet because it has Nutella and apple. Oh, see that? Take that picture. You gotta write a little caption next to that. I like that's a great idea. Thank you. Miguel, yeah, you guys are like very creative. So maybe once everybody gets inoculated and we get back to real normal life, if that ever happens, then maybe I can come in person. And then maybe they would do a little a class for a little longer. Like, do you at your school? Are you all in the same school? Dear, uh, no, you're not in the same school? Oh. Well, maybe we'll find a home ec room somewhere. Somebody must still have home ec rooms, right? No, yes. That's what they did. Yeah, I think, so. I, I think so. Yeah, because we need a kitchen that had cutting boards and all that stuff. But I would love to teach you guys because you guys are eager beavers. You're into it. Not everybody's into, you know, not everybody's into it, but you're you're eager. You want to learn. I can see that. That's That's really awesome for a teacher. You know, because it's no fun when you have to teach somebody and they're like, I used to teach, um, I taught some after school classes years ago and half the class was, there were like sixth graders and half of them loved it. And the other half were like looking out the window, shooting rubber bands across the room. I was like, oh my God, that wasn't much fun. No. But, all right. Well, well, the well, idea was a really good idea, Miguel. Huh? I just want to. Miguel's very, being very creative with uh I know. Miguel, that's awesome. And everybody's eating theirs now. Not Madalena. Madalena, you're making us all feel guilty. She's in the library with her mask on. That's good. And Darius, you're in a hallway somewhere or you're outside. You're not cooking today. My pizza's so good. No, I'm, I'm in my I'm in my dorm room. I, I, uh, I again I don't have any cook like any uh, supplies. One and two, um, there aren't any kitchens that are open on campus because of our COVID protocols. So yeah. I'm unable to really access anything. I gotcha. I know. Well, I think by next September things should be like back to normal. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. I'm shooting for. I've been doing parties all along, but I go in with a mask on and the waiters and everybody's all wrapped up. But um. Yeah, supposedly, um, according to the CDC, with the, the vaccines, they're saying that once you get it, you can actually start to gather without uh, needing any masks or anything like that. So um, I, I guess it'll be interesting to see just kind of like how that works out. Um, if, even with, with LEAP, we're all... I'm pretty sure that there are probably some things that they're, they're going to probably discuss uh, given, you know, how COVID's looking. So yes. they're actually starting up uh, in-person programming on Saturdays for the kids. So that's hopefully a good, you know, good first step. What, what, what on Saturday? In-person? Oh, uh, yeah. In-person programming. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's so much more we could do. I mean, it would just be fun because, I mean, we can do, we've done a lot in this in this uh, venue, but um, with things like pastry, it's very hard. Like if somebody puts their bowl up to the screen, you know, I have to be able to touch it to be able to say, yes, that's the right texture or beat it some more or something. You know, it's, it's difficult to, um, you can, not everything's translatable through the uh, uh, screen of the computer, so. But I think we've all done a great job so far. Now here comes somebody Maybe, maybe Jojo. I don't know who maybe Jojo is, but maybe Jojo is a little late. Maybe Jojo. Hi, maybe Jojo. <laughs> it's nice to see you. The pizza tastes so good. 
the bagel pizza. It's good, right? Very good. You did good. All right, well, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna sit down now and do and bring, do some, write some recipes for all your suggestions. And if you think of anything else, um, you know, I can leave my email address in the chat. And if you have a thought or something and you wanna write me, you can write me. How's that? And if you have a suggestion for something you wanna make, you can write to me. So I'm gonna put it right in here. I've been meaning to do this for a few weeks now. My, my other ones came out. Oh yeah? Yeah. Let me see. Ooh, you guys got it going on. That looks delicious. Now you, your parents will be happy because, oh, look, Sage, nice. Very nice. Looking good. There's my email if you want to take it down. And you come up with some idea, you can write me. Or if you're in the middle of making something and you don't know what to do, you can write me <laughs> and I'll try to help you. All right, well, anybody have any other questions? We're a little early today, but um, a lot of days we run over, so I think we're good. Any questions? Nope. I don't right. see you Pleasure. Pleasure to see you all. And um, I will come up with some um, other things. We might, we might be able to do like hummus and baba ganoush in the same class and uh, toast up some um, pita and have a conversation about Middle Eastern food, you know, Mediterranean food, which is all very healthy for us. So that would be cool. And I might be able to think of one more thing. All I right. don't see your Gmail. Huh? I don't see the Gmail. I put it in the chat. I wrote to everyone. From me to everyone in the waiting room. Well, I don't want it to be in the wait. Oh, wait, let me fix this. Oh, psst. I didn't know there was that distinction. Okay, hold on. That's because it was in the waiting room. Good? There we go. Yeah. There you go. It was in the waiting room. I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> All right. All right. So everybody get my email. And uh, I'll see you next time. Great job, chef. All right. Thank you. You're so welcome. My pleasure. You. Bye. See you next time. Bye. 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 Good job.